Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello everybody, it's Diego here in Bogota, Colombia, South America. High up in the Andes Mountains and Karina's at work. She says hi to everybody. She hopes you're doing well in K1 visa land. She hopes you're hanging in there, rowing the boat with us to the finish line as we wait for our K1 visa to get adjudicated. Now this video is more advanced than the K1 visa. This is for 10 year green card holders. If you have made it through the K1 visa process, good job. If you made it through the two year green card temporary residency or, or temporary green card, good job. Now you've got a 10 year green card, ladies and gentlemen. You are a lawful permanent resident of the United States. And now you think it's time to go visit grandma in Peru or go visit your sister in North Korea, North Korea, <laughs> in South Korea, or if you want to go visit your family in, in Ecuador, wherever it is, you need to travel, right? Okay, listen up. If you, Mr. Green Card Holder, are a 10-year green card holder, that means you made it through this horrible immigration process successfully, and you want to travel, you can leave the United States on vacation. You can travel back and forth multiple times. But you cannot leave the United States for longer than a year. Okay? If you decide you're going to stay outside the United States of America longer than a year, okay, you must apply for a re entry permit with USCIS. A re entry permit allows you, Mr. Green Card Holder, Mrs. Green Card Holder, to return back to the United States if you leave longer than a year. But why would you want to leave the United States longer than a year? You waited three years just to get your green card. Maybe five years. Why would you want to leave longer than a year? Right? Okay. Now let's suppose you have a medical emergency and you must leave the United States longer than a year, Mr. 10-year green card holder, Mrs. 10-year green card holder. You must apply for a re-entry permit with USCIS using form I-131, okay? Right here, USCIS form I-131. If you are a two-year green card holder, you're on a temporary probationary green card, not a 10-year green card, you must also apply for a uh, advanced parole, even if you wanna leave the United States for a week. So, so your first two years, on your, on your temporary green card, your probationary green card, it's probably a good idea not to leave the United States, okay? If you do leave the United States without advanced parole or, or filling out this document, I-131, you have a good chance of not being re-entered, being allowed back into the United States, okay? Trust me on this one, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video was helpful to you guys out there. Hang in there, we're here for you. And we will see you in Colombia and hopefully soon in the United States of America. If you got a 10-year green card, congratulations. Now start working on your U.S. citizenship.